Hello, and welcome to a Secure 9000 e demo showing how to create a visit template for visitors to a site or facility. We're going to be utilizing the visitor management tool in Secure 9000. Now, for example, this feature may be used in a large conference and convention center where the subject of the conference changes weekly, but there really is only a need to update the visitor personnel. Everything else about the visit is going to remain the same. The room it's held in, uh, the door clearances, etc., etc. You can create a visit template and use the template as the basis of new visits by saving the settings you want your visits to have in common. All right, the first step in creating the new template is to select the Personnel tab on the left-hand side of the Secure 9000 navigation pane. Then, at the top of the Personnel window pane, select Visit from the Personnel drop-down menu. And after that, you want to select the down arrow on the New button, and then select Template to create a new Visit object template. The Visit template editor opens so the template can be configured. Now notice that when the template activates on the screen, it defaults to the General tab for data input. All right, start by adding a name for the visit in the new template name field to make it more specific to the visit that will recur. Uh, the system automatically generates a name for the template based on the user credentials of the person creating it, but that can easily be changed by unselecting the Automatically Generate Name checkbox. Unselect the checkbox and then enter the specific details into the name field for the template. For the purposes of this scenario, we're going to name the template Template for Conference Center General Use. And in the description field, let's enter Conference Center Template to cover all assembly halls. Next, we'll go ahead and select a visit site by clicking the Visit Site Object button. Now, this visit site will typically be the specific facility or facility room associated with the template. All right, then the name selection pop-up window opens and shows the available visit site choices to select from. Choose the name of the visit site you want to make the template for. And then after you do that, the system then populates the visit site field with the selection made. Working our way to the next set of fields in the template, the visit start and visit end fields do not need to be modified at this time. And when a new visit is created from this template, the visit start and end dates are modified to reflect the actual dates and times of visit. Okay, the only field left to populate with information on the General tab is the Instructions field. The Visitors and Hosts area will be populated with personnel data when the template is used for an actual visit. Now, an exception to this might be that the same host will be used every visit until further notice. But in this situation, the actual hosts can be added in because every time the template is used for a visit, it will carry the host's names with it. The visitors list will always change in this scenario, so no data needs to be input at this time. Now, adding visitors will be covered in more detail when an actual visit is created from this template. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and finish up the instructions field. Now, the information added at this point could be used for all visits. If special instructions are required by a specific visit, this field can be appended as required when that visit object is created. All right, since this template is going to be used for the same door clearance over and over, adding a clearance or a door to enter through is the next step. In order to do that, what you need to do is select the Clearances tab and then the Add button. After selecting the Add button, the Name Selection pop-up window will appear on the screen showing the available clearances for selection. Select each clearance object required for the visit template by clicking all check boxes that apply. And then when you're done, go ahead and click OK to accept the input. If you do choose Save and Close, the new template can be accessed by selecting the Template checkbox and then clicking the green right pointing arrow next to the selected Visit drop-down menu item from the Personnel tab. The new template will appear in the listing of templates under the Visit tab. Double-click on the template to open it for further editing. And after that, the procedure is now complete.